Hello there, I'm Mark Hillam, one of three founders of an unusual startup called Inovar. I'd like to introduce you to ToGo, our enterprise application mobility layer, or as we call the standard, Enamel. Unusual because we've all worked together for more than six years. Unusual because we've done this once before with an earlier solution, addressing a similar market. It was rated number one in the world by Gartner in 2012 above solutions from IBM, SAP, Oracle, Microsoft, and others. We were also recognized as a cool vendor of the year. Unusual because we chose to start Inovar simultaneously in the U.S. and in the U.K. Unusual because we do all of our development in the U.S. Unusual in that we have partnerships with some of the largest solution vendors and telcos in the world. Unusual because we've already won a number of challenges and through them, customers and partners the background to TOGO is that we developed the solution as a response to a problem employers faced while trying to make full use of their BYOD or bring your own device strategies. They were looking to gain full working access to many of their important and critical enterprise applications, which were key to their organizations, such as ERP, CRM, HCM, and BI, to name a few. This problem still exists today. In a recent study done by Epicor, they surveyed approximately 2,000 companies and found that 85% of those companies had policies in place to enable BYOD. In the same study, they then asked the users what they were using their mobile devices for. The response was alarming. Only 25% of the users said that they had even just basic access to any of their enterprise applications outside of email. We could conclude that the users simply don't want to have access to any of these systems on their mobile devices, and therefore the large disparity. However, on the contrary, from this study it was learned that the number one requested feature for these enterprise systems was for mobile access. With this glaring problem staring everyone in the face, surely it has already been solved. Surely the large enterprise vendors have already addressed this. The quick answer is, they haven't. Although the claim is that they've been working on this for years, the facts show that the users are still left without a comprehensive solution. We feel that we have a completely unique approach to solving this problem. So why hasn't this problem already been solved? Because it is complex, and in order to solve the problem, we need to have both the experience and background to see all the facets of why the others have been unsuccessful in solving it. There are three main parts. The first is that the majority of these enterprise systems use technologies that are simply not compatible with mobile devices. Flash, Flex, Silverlight, ActiveX, Java, and native applications work great on the desktop, but not on the devices we carry around in our pockets. And the HTML5 versions of the applications have brought some compatibility, but they still lack parity to the systems that the users are used to. The second challenge lies in knowing just how end users want to leverage and use their mobile devices with their enterprise systems, and then ensuring that the application on the device is developed with that in mind. The third and final challenge actually has several parts. It is that there are many parties in an organization that are affected by the implementation of a mobile solution, and in order to be successful, all of their goals need to be considered and addressed in parallel so that a comprehensive solution can meet all of their needs. Solving a problem for just one, but ignoring the others, leads to failure and ultimately low user adoption. So starting at the top and moving clockwise. Those in IT want to be assured that the implementation will be quick and simple, yet comprehensive to ideally meet the needs across multiple enterprise systems. They want to be able to leverage all of their current third-party software solutions and anything that has been customized for their business. The users want deployment to be straightforward. Ideally, one that leverages their existing workflow and current system knowledge. They want parity in the functionality between what they're able to do on their mobile device and what they're able to accomplish on their desktop or laptop. They don't want to maintain a mental catalog of features that work in one environment, but then don't work in the other. The developers don't want to build, then maintain duplicate systems. They want to continue to leverage their existing content, such as reports and data visualizations, regardless of whether they're compatible with mobile systems or not. And they certainly don't want to build and manage duplicate systems just because of mobility. Security want to ensure that vital information is not at risk in the case of the loss or theft of a mobile device. 
Finance are looking for an enhanced return on investment from their existing systems while avoiding the costly proposition of redeveloping or duplicating them. Executives are looking for increased efficiency across the organization that can come from mobility, but are concerned that it could bring disruption if not managed well. In order to be successful in enterprise mobility, you need experience in all of these areas. Current failures in mobility can be boiled down to a disconnect with any one of these parts here. The key to success in solving this problem is starting with the right team, beginning with the founders, who have experience in the broad enterprise market and bring the talent and vision to avoid the pitfalls others, including the large enterprise vendors, have succumbed to. Additionally, feedback from advisory boards bring checks and balances into the direction. Together with our team, we created a solution to the mobility challenge, and it is called To Go. Just as the name suggests, a user can leverage any of their enterprise applications on their mobile device and simply go. Customers use To Go to mobilize their critical enterprise applications. For example, the Metropolitan Police of London use To Go to access their business intelligence system so that they can view and interact with real time crime information. Marks and Spencer are using it with their property division and their refurbishment program. BMW with their dealer management dashboards around the UK and Bayer, one of the newest on the list, are planning to use TOGO for their quality control and manufacturing systems in their animal health operations. We have already won a series of awards that has led to sponsorships and support from strong organizations. We won the Dell Startup and Residence Challenge, as well as the Telefonica Weira Challenge. These have also led to great partnerships. We've signed contracts with Telefonica O2 in the UK for them to resell to their customer base, We've also signed contracts with Dell to accelerate the sale of To-Go in 34 countries around the globe. Orange Business Services are using it for their business performance systems. To facilitate the process around a major bid for business, Telefonica used To-Go to give their prospect dynamic visibility into the reporting processes. Our most recent partner, Carriage, an ERP company out of the UK, are able to mobilize their entire ERP application stack with To-Go. We firmly believe in a try-before-you-buy experience, and these are a few of the companies that are in the POC processes. Our technology has four main parts. The To-Go device app, represented here to the left with the iPad, the license validation server, which sits in the cloud and validates that the device is properly licensed, the To-Go VPN gateway, which is an optional component in the case that the organization doesn't have their own VPN gateway, and lastly, the TuGo server. The TuGo server can be implemented either in on-premise or in the cloud. When on-premise, it can be either a physical or virtual environment. The TuGo server does almost all of the heavy lifting. It is responsible for the real-time and encrypted communication between the mobile device and the enterprise application or applications. If there are enterprise applications that require a client, this is where the client is usually installed. It is important to stress that the TuGo server is not pushing enterprise application data to the mobile device. At no time is the app storing any of the enterprise application data. The TuGo server encrypts and pushes only the visual representation of the enterprise application to the mobile device. So in the case of an on-premise implementation, no enterprise data actually ever leaves the premises. Only the visual representation, and more specifically, the delta of those visual changes, are communicated to the mobile device. The TuGo server optimizes this communication and streams it so fast that to the user, the experience is as if the enterprise application was actually installed on their mobile device, but it is not. Additionally, where the TuGo server has the horsepower to run all sorts of large enterprise client applications, the user's experience is that they have available to them huge amounts of processing power to complete their tasks. Power and speed far beyond what the mobile device would be capable of. The TuGo application on the device and the TuGo server function as a pair. Just as the enterprise application is streamed in real time to the device, the device decodes and returns commands and gestures back to the TuGo server, which then communicates those instructions to the enterprise application. This again happens so fast that to the end user, it seems instantaneous, even in instances where the user and the enterprise applications are on different continents. For to go in the cloud, we have built an optimized system within the AWS infrastructure. Upon the launch of the to go app on the mobile device, 
the system knows how to optimize the connection for the best performance and load across the globe. The system is not only location aware, but performance aware. For example, let's say that a person is traveling and is currently in Madrid, Spain. They launch to go so that they can get access to their enterprise application that is located, say, in the United States, in Atlanta. In this scenario, the person would likely be connected to the to-go backbone coming in through Frankfurt. That seems logical because it's the closest to Spain. However, if the connection to Frankfurt for some reason was slower than Ireland, then it would be automatically routed through Ireland. So no matter where I am on the globe, to-go is designed to optimize my experience.